Hey YouTube, my name is Jeff and welcome to the final episode of the RetroPie Arcade Project miniseries. In the previous episode, we went through the initial setup process for the RetroPie project on my Raspberry Pi. In this episode, I will be fitting the whole Pi, Pi Glow, and 3D printed case together and booting it up. Now that the RetroPie project is all set up and customized for my personal use, and I have already added some ROMs to the SD card, let's assemble the mini console. Here we have all the parts of our RetroPie arcade box. The Raspberry Pi Model B+, the 3D printed case, the SD card with our RetroPie release, the Pi Moroni Pi Glow, and finally, all of our cables we need to get it set up. First, let's attach the Pi Glow to the Raspberry Pi. It's quite simple to attach, and with a little push, it fits together quite nicely. Now, we need to fit the Pi into the bottom of the case. Taking into account the audio jack, the Pi drops right into the case and fits great. Next, we can fit the top of the case on, and as you can see, it fits together great. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi does move around a bit, but when I add the screws, it should keep it in place. Now that the case is assembled, we can pop in the micro SD card and plug in all the connectors. Plug in the power cable and wait for the Raspberry Pi to boot up. Once the Pi boots, we're ready to start playing some awesome retro games. As you can see, there are quite a few retro consoles that you can emulate with the Retro Pi project, but some of my favorite games were on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System and the Game Boy Advance. Since it's a favorite among almost all gamers, let's play the original Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Once you're done playing, make sure your game has saved and hit the escape button on your keyboard to go back to Emulation Station. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series as much as I have enjoyed making it. Be sure to follow us on Google Plus and Twitter to stay up to date on all of our latest projects and series like this one. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome 3D modeling and printing videos.